So it is May 10th and this is a morning garden tour. Uh, it's earlier in zone 5 than I've put things in the ground before, but I wanted to take you on a quick tour. Uh, my tulips are doing lovely. That's the first year I've had them here. I'm, I'm happy that they're there. These are all different kinds of peppers. The first uh, row and a half are, I think, different kind of sweet peppers, red and purple. And then the rest of them are hotter um, peppers. Uh, one is a Thai, um, Thai hot. I think I have some lemon peppers in there as well. And then here um, will be a row uh, of onions to finish that out. I also have um, still a lot of my plants uh, that I need to transplant. I, I planted too many. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, this will be a couple rows of onions and um, these are kohlrabi uh, white and purple that I started from seed. Uh, this is a tray here of onions that I started from seed. We'll see what we get. Moving down, this is the area that I've planted cucumbers and zucchini. And there's yellow zucchini and this will be a row of um, ribbed Italian zucchini. These are more cucumbers in these cages. These are uh, several of the tomatoes. Uh, lots of different kinds, mostly um, heirloom, but there's a couple hybrids in there. These are also some tomatoes. This um, side I planted uh, May 1st maybe, and you can see a couple rows of onions coming up. These are um, this row. Uh, radishes of different sorts and I don't have my center aisle done yet I'm waiting on some more straw but down the rest of this patch my peas are just starting to come up I'm gonna try to get close so you can see those are just starting to come up my radishes down the way are doing well and um, my garlic, we transplanted it. Uh, we planted it last year and then redistributed it this year uh, down along the edge. So that's what's going on on May 10th. Not a lot, we're really just getting started. I am waiting on a couple more bales of straw to be able to mulch down um, everything to hold in water, prevent weeding and help prevent erosion. It's very easy to see on the dirt. You can see the really dark. That's new compost we brought in. We brought in about two tons of compost this year, about four tons last year. But here especially, you can kind of see dark on this side and the clay um, that's here in the yard on this side. So we've been working to amend it for several years and every year it gets a little better. Uh, so that's good. So that's what's going on here. Um, I did plant some zinnias and lemon areas along the side here again, so we'll have some pretty um, flowers visible from the house. Onions, parsley, and mint. I decided to put the mint in a pot for now because it spreads so much. I honestly would love to have that for... Um, uh, grass instead of grass. You can see we, we, we like dandelions. I am going to take a quick walk to the back patch. You can see from this side how lovely the garden is going to be. And so we have this back patch here which is visible from our deck and some of this is perennial. So all the lilies are perennial the daffodils are perennial. I planted a bunch of bulbs last fall that didn't do great. Our rhubarb is doing well. I was delighted to see our, um, I can't say the name of it right now, come back. 
uh, these I just planted in. These are Cosmos and some Zinnias, but they're having a little shock getting started. This area um, along the back edge, those will be um, dahlias, burgundy dahlias, all the way across the back about like maybe the middle two thirds will be um, cannas. These are iris um, that I got from my brother in South Carolina. Over here, we started with um, last year one catnip plant and catnip is a lot like mint in that that's gonna probably go wild. So we got this from last year and this one is new this year. So I'm gonna have to work hard to manage those. I planted some sage, also perennial. And then um, right in front of my blocks, I put in a row of um, calla lilies and right now they'll be nothing. Um, up in front, again, these are things that I put in last fall. Um, the deer just mowed down those tulips, but you can see that pretty splash of purple. Uh, and again, you can see this is all clay. So we're just doing what we can to continue to amend um, the soil and grow what we can grow. So I think that's all for now. And uh, let me know what you've got going on.